Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS4 to your PC or Mac remotely. This is going to allow you to play your PS4 on your computer. Let's get started. Now before we get started, let's make sure you have everything you're going to need to make this process run smoothly. So first you're going to need your PS4, you're going to need either a PC or a Mac, you're going to need your DualShock 4 controller, you're going to need the charging cable or micro USB cable, and finally you're going to need to be connected to the internet. Now that we have everything we need, we need to install the software on our PC or Mac. So you want to go to this page here, I'll place a link to this page in the description. Once you get to this page, you want to go ahead and either click on the Windows PC or the Mac tab here. And in this case, we're using a Mac, so we're going to go ahead and download the software. Once the software is downloaded, go ahead and find it. it should be in your Downloads tab. I went ahead and moved mine to my desktop here. We'll go ahead and double click on it, and it'll open up the Install PS4 Remote Play page. From here, we'll go ahead and hit Continue. We'll go ahead and hit Continue again and Agree. It's going to tell you up here it's going to take 14.2 megabytes of space, so keep that in mind. We'll go ahead and hit install. Once it's done, you can go ahead and hit close. Once you've installed the software on your computer, we want to go ahead and turn on our PS4 and navigate to the settings tab. From here, we want to scroll all the way down until we see the remote play connection section. Go ahead and open that up, and then you want to enable remote play. We'll now navigate back to the previous page and we're going to scroll up to where it says PlayStation Network and Account Management. Open that up. From here we want to make sure that this PS4 is active as our primary PS4. So if it isn't, activate it by clicking on that. And if it's active it'll look like this. If it's not, it'll give you the prompt to activate it. So make sure that this is your primary PS4. Next we'll go back to this page here and we'll just go ahead and scroll down to where it says power save settings. So we'll go ahead and open that up and you can go ahead and click right here where it says set features available in rest mode. And from here we just want to make sure that stay connected to the internet is selected. This way if your PS4 is in rest mode you'll still be able to play remotely without having to turn on the PS4 completely. Moving back to our computer now, we want to go ahead and connect our DualShock 4 to the computer. So go ahead and plug your USB cable to the computer and the other end to the DualShock 4. Now we want to move back to our computer and what we're going to do is open up our PS4 Remote Play application. So go ahead and find the folder you installed it on and just go ahead and open it up. You're first going to be brought to a page like this that says PS4 Remote Play. Now before we hit start, we're going to go ahead and make sure the settings and the preferences are exactly how we want them. Now I'm using a Mac, so what I do is go to the top here where it says PS4 Remote Play, and I'm going to click on Preferences. If you're using a PC, it should be very similar. Just go ahead and look for the Preferences or Settings tab, which will open up a page like this. Now from this page here, we can sign in, but we'll skip that for now and move down to Resolution. We can change the resolution from 360p to 540p all the way up to 720p. I'm going to select that, and I'm also going to select High as my frame rate. Now you want to select what your internet connection and computer can handle, and once you've done that, you can go ahead and X out of this. We'll then select Start. Now you will be prompted to sign into your PSN account, so go ahead and do so. Once you're connected, you'll be able to see your PlayStation screen on your PC or Mac. Everything's controlled by your DualShock 4, so everything you do on screen, you can see I'm just pressing the side buttons here and they're moving around. And if you want to maximize the screen, you can still use your trackpad. We'll just go ahead and maximize the screen so we can see full resolution of our screen here. If we want to open up games, you can. It's very seamless. It works very fast. But that's pretty much it for this video. It is pretty seamless. You can see on screen on my TV, everything I do is the same as on my computer. So that's the remote play feature. Again, you want to play around with the settings that work best for your computer, your internet connection. That way you get the best gameplay possible. Dropping down your resolution to maybe 360 might be a little bit low, but if you go to the standard resolution, it is very playable. And if you just drop your frame rates down to 30 frames per second, it should work out fine if you don't have a high speed or very fast internet connection. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment box below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've missed any of the PS4 videos, there is a link in the description. So definitely check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.